Good morning and happy day after Easter. Um, I just have been kind of in isolation like most of you. Um, I also cut my hair because I didn't have a hairstylist do it and it didn't look real good. So I thought, I'm not going to make any videos. But I thought, good grief, that's kind of vain. So anyway, God has put on my heart to do about a 10 day after Easter uh, sharing of things that I've learned uh, during this Easter period. And I'm hoping that you would come along. So it'll be short and sweet. Um, each one will be very different. And um, I hope that you enjoy it and, and we can share this time together. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, what Peter learned about Easter. You see, Peter, when the crucifixion happened, he left. He went fishing. You know, he, he left. John is the only disciple that was there at the cross. So Peter's Easter understanding really came after Easter. And now we're entering into this after Easter area and time period. And so let's take a look at what did Peter learn. Well, basically, 1 Peter 1.9 was the, the way I use with my book, uh, Embracing Easter Like Peter. And I just want to share the main idea of that book uh, that really got me thinking about after Easter. Um, basically, there's two things that Peter embraced about after Easter. The first one is scattering. If you read 1 Peter one, it talks about this book is written to all the Christians who, because of persecution, were scattered everywhere. And the basic idea of scattering is that life is not the same as it was. Things are not the way they were. They're not the way we want them to be. These people in scripture, these Christians, were scattered from their homes, their businesses. They feared for their lives. They went to new places. Just like someone who is facing a divorce or financial ruin or sickness, as we're maybe scared of right now, um, but, but that's scattering. It's when your life as you know it is scattered. And that was Peter's after Easter experience. And that's what I think the cross means. Pick up your cross and you're going to be scattered. You're living in this time period where Jesus has shown us an example of sometimes we will have pain and sometimes we will have sacrifice and we will be scattered. Life will not always be the same as it was. I know we've experienced this when my husband's lost jobs and we've moved six times in seven years. We were scattered and it was so hard. Sometimes we just get set in our little routines and we don't realize that God, the reality is after the cross, that our life is going to be scattered. But the second thing that Peter realized is that our life is going to be sprinkled. Our life is going to be sprinkled with the blood of Christ, which is the grace of Christ, the power of Christ, the Holy Spirit he sent. We are being sprinkled so that we can handle the scatterings of our lives. And I, to me, that's just after Easter. And at Easter, I rejoice that I'm forgiven. And then we say, now what? We're now, today is Monday, the day after Easter, and we're asking, now what? What did that Easter mean? Well, Peter told us, it means life might have a lot of scattering, and but life will be complete with the sprinkling that God has given to us. So that's day one of our after Easter thoughts, and I can't wait to share some more with you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow won't be from my book. Tomorrow will be from a, a different um, set of things that I've been reading about. So God's blessings and stay safe and uh, know that God knows everything that's going on, everything. And if you read Ezekiel, every chapter at least once says that they might know that you're the Lord God, that he is the Lord God. And right now, that's my prayer, that the, we might know we've been stopped, we've been scattered, that we might know that he is the Lord God. Amen. Love you.